Good evening and welcome to it. You are watching the Private Property Podcast. I'm your host, Sibs Matiela, coming to you live from the property show happening at the Santon Convention Center. We've been telling you for months all roads lead to the property show. This is it. It's the one. It's happening right now. In case you missed it, what we are doing is bringing you everyone who's at the property show uh, and all of the questions you would have wanted to ask we are bringing the answers directly to you via this podcast joining me now in studio is jason joffa who's the business head at lamna bridging finance jason how are you hi morning nice to see you you as well um so uh, we're going to talk about the advantages of accessing bridging finance but first and foremost jason what is bridging finance okay bridging finance is a lot of things to different people in, okay. in the context of property um we're able to free uh, your cash flow before the proceeds of a sale reflect on, on your side so what happens in the conveyancing process after an otp and uh offer to purchase, offer to purchase not one time pin not one time pin definitely yeah. not one time pin and that's a whole different story <laughs> over there with regard to fraud in the in the in the property sector but it is a uh, otp once that is signed purchase price has been secured guarantees are in place we're able to uh bridge up for um sellers we're able to give them up to 80 percent of their uh, equity in their property prior to the three to six months it takes to register a property that obviously enables them to do a lot of things they've got rates taxes outstanding mm. it enables them to uh, uh, bridge on that um, if they need the proceeds if they're buying another property they're able to pay for uh, transfer duties uh, so it really caters for anybody who's caught between a rock and a hard plate in in the in the in the process okay so what exactly are the benefits now of accessing bri bri bridging finance <laughs> yeah no, so the access the, the benefits of accessing bridging finance are uh twofold uh, you know if you go to a traditional bank and uh, and apply for for finance at this point in time they don't look at it the same way we do we're looking at it on the receipt of a sale mm. um so we it, it doesn't matter if you've got judgments or bad debt or anything like that we can overlook a lot of those kinds of things um, it, for us, it, it's, a, it's about the security of the transaction that's going to be happening in the future. Um, so you would not normally have access to this type of capital, uh, but we're able to facilitate that for you quickly uh, and easily, depending obviously on the conveyancer that we're working with. Mm. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, our risk sits with, 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 with them. They uh, pay us back once, once the uh, process has happened and once lodgement has uh, uh, taken place and transfers taken place and uh, and it's a very very easy process i was gonna say in the situations where you know someone reneges on an agreement for instance how does that work out for you so our credit our credit policy is, is built around a around that kind of, of thing but th that's why we prefer to you know th there are preconditions that have to be met yeah so we know that we are secure that the uh, that the client is secure and that the conveyancer is secure because we've got all these stakeholders that we need to obviously protect in, in, mm. in, the, in the process over there. So we're not willy-nilly uh, dishing out funds over here. Like, yeah, here's some money. Ab absolute, absolute, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely not. There is a checkbox and a tick box that we, we do follow. Uh, we're able to make exceptions based on the risk, but there's proper decisioning and a proper scorecard that goes into into, into the, the element of us advancing on the, on the, on the purchase. And so the people never try and scam you. Uh, they do, they do, but we, <laughs> but, but we always one step ahead of them. So you know they can try. Um, it's, it's always good fun to catch them out. But <laughs> yeah, no, they definitely do. Yeah, you know there, there's a there's a, a what do you call it? We all part of something called Bafasa, the Bridging Finance of uh, of South Africa. Um, so it, it's very important to us. If you try and scam, your name will be listed in Bafasa, um, and, and uh, everyone will know you. And everybody will know you. But you know, most people in this in in, in this industry, you know, they, they, their intentions are pure, and we assume that their intentions are pure. We don't go and, and prejudice anybody uh, from the onset. Okay, who qualifies for bridging finance? And please take me through the application process now. Okay, absolutely. Um, we've got three we've got three parties that essentially qualify for bridging finance, or three different role players in the value chain. Mm. First is the conveyancer. They are our most important, uh, you know, element uh, in, in in this value chain over here. Um, they need to ensure that rates and taxes are paid, levies are paid uh, timelessly before they can actually uh, lodge. Okay, mm. um, so we're able to do that for the conveyances, um, etc. Then we have the sellers. The sellers 
often look for proceeds because they caught between that rock and a hard plate. They are buying another property. They have debts that they need to pay off. Mm. We're able to obviously give them up to 80% of the equity available in that transaction. So for every million rand, if there's equity of that amount, we can give them 800,000 rand. Mm. Um, then there's the agents. The agents are very important as well. Agents work from deal to deal. They don't have salaries. So they're often caught, you know, between, you know, they're, well. only, yeah. they, they're only seeing their commission three months after the sale in, mm. in many cases. It's an average of 92 days from our stats. Um, so we're able to give them up to 75% of their uh, commissionable amount uh, prior to uh, a registration. Okay, so what is the application process like? So we've got a, a network of key account executives across the country. They work directly with uh, with the attorneys. So the attorneys will always sign an undertaking. Um, we work with them. That's our main channel partner. And then we obviously have our direct uh, um, ch channel, which is, which is our, we've got a website, www.lamna.co.za, uh, where uh, application be, can be uh, sent through over there mm -hmm. and somebody will be in contact. Um, and, it, and it's really, you know, we, we aim to obviously fulfill within 24 hours of all documentation coming through. Um, and and it, it's a really, really simple process. Jason, do different rates and taxes apply to bridging finance? A absolutely not. So, no. no. No, no, definitely not. We, 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 do, we do charge, it comes in as a daily rate in terms of our rate, not, not so much a tax, um, but that's only payable on uh, registration where the attorney will take how many days it's been sitting out for, um, minus, uh, and add that on to the, the equity uh, that we not the equity that we've advanced, but yeah. so much the proceeds that we've advanced. But we are very compatible in, in, in the industry. Okay, so now these people, you give them the eighty percent. Correct. How do you advise that they use that money that they've secured now as the bridging finance? Obviously, <sighs> it's never a good idea to spend money that Ab you don't actually have yet. A a absolutely not. You know, you know, as a as, as a responsible uh, credit provider, we, we always say, you know, the first thing that you need to do is make sure your rates and taxes and levies are applied because you need that we need this this, the, this uh, lodgement process to, to take place and, mm. and registration process to take place only once that's sorted out get you your financial affairs in order make sure that you 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 paid off uh, any uh, credit that's that's accumulating mm. and then you know if you need it for uh, uh, another property that you're purchasing use it for for renovations use it for um uh, transfer duties over mm. there you know you often you caught without funding for transfer duties to enable you to purchase your next property absolutely and this is a great way of accessing that uh before uh yeah you've received proceeds of sale okay so lamna is at the property show happening currently at the santon convention absolutely. center what is the value for you um as lamna being at the property show so, so it's more so you know it's, we're not we're not here looking to transact at the stand yeah. by any means. <laughs> like fill in this application process and we'll give you bridging finance. Be, it be, yeah, exactly. Because you've got to be in a position at a point in time where we're able to obviously, um, you know, fire the starting gun. Uh, we're more here to plant the seed in everybody's head, get brand exposure, let them know that we are here for them when the time is right to consider using us. Yes, there are other players in the market as well. But you know, give us a little slither of the pie. Mm. Um, there, there's systemic risk out there, um, so that's more what we're around here for. And it, it's been a great show. You know, we want to partner with uh, with uh, with uh, private property. We want to do the other shows that are coming up in different regions, etc. So we'll be around the country. You know, come and visit us there as well. Um, it's been really great being here. Jason, how do people find you guys on the interwebs? Uh, yeah, so it's www.lamna.co.za. Listen, it's been a pleasure speaking to you. I have learned something absolutely new. Had no idea what bridging finance was, and now I know. Great, great. Thanks no, to you. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad, and I'll hopefully our, our listeners, watchers out there, you know, also have learned something. Absolutely, and I look forward to seeing you at the property shows to come. Great stuff. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Jason Joffa, ladies, gentlemen, they, them. That's all I have for you today. But I will see you again tomorrow.